Okay, let's get this uh, show on the road here. There's a giant wolf. And I'm gonna do this today. It's a um, kind of a run through of the video. And today was a 40K mountain bike ride, a hardtail mountain bike, uh, a bit of road riding. I'd say about 28 kilometers of road riding with 12 kilometers of off-road riding. Uh, this map just kind of gives you an idea. This is Northern Taiwan and can't really see where the off-road riding, off riding is from the map, but Linko and Taoyuan County is what you're looking at. So let's see, or let's look at some of the actual cycling. Um, all right, so this is a, actually a really good little climb up to, I, I kind of want to say up to Hutoshan area, but what you got to do is jump this little fence, not a fence, it's a, a chain. Sometimes it's down, today it was up, so pick up the bike, go over the wire, up over the chain, and um, it's not really a, I guess it's a dirt road, but there's a lot of rocks, and um, percentage-wise, it's probably, it hits 7% sometimes, 5% sometimes. It's a really, actually a nice, most of it's a nice climb. It's a nice, um, not too difficult. It's not like crazy, super steep, and you can actually, you can get going, and it's, it's a lot of fun, actually. So, there aren't any motorcycles on this road, and the guys don't come down balling like crazy in, on a on the gasoline powered dirt bike or anything like that. But as you can see, there are some rocks, and I've gone ahead and cut it. Uh, I think it's two two kilometers maybe, and it's really sweet. It's like a single track. You can see um, see this section right here is really nice, and it's not it's not short, but I mean it's it is what it is. It's as I said, maybe. I don't know, 1.52 kilometers, and there's a couple sections that I have to jump off the bike and hike up the hill, and uh, you'll see that right here. I think I can make this up, but I just either didn't have enough momentum, and I just said, okay, fine, and then throw the bike to the top, and I'll roll down, and again, if uh, if I was going at it like I wanted to, I could probably make it over that little s slope as well, but today I did not, so that's okay. It happens, and um, I'm going to show you another section where you, it's it's uh ah did I cut it like this? Okay, yeah, there's no way you'll make it up this. You gotta there's a little they've cut stairs into the side of the hill. And I thought I was gonna show you the new jump that the the Filipino guys have made and it's super cool. But uh, unfortunately I didn't cut it so you can see that. But you can get an idea of the area. There's lots of trails in this area. It's it's really it's really nice actually. Um Great to have access to some off-road riding where it's not really that much in Taiwan to be honest. So I'm I've just come across this new area. This is Guanghua and it's awesome. Really dig this. I've only been this is only my second ride. And uh there's a 2.3, 2.4 kilometer single track straight up. Just go at it. And it's not super difficult, but actually I, want to, I maybe want to say there, there were some technical moments. Today was the second time to do it. And I'm not, I don't put the entire um, 2.3 kilometers on today's video. But I got a good section of it. And you can see it's hard packed. It's, um, and you, some of it you could probably ride a road bike on. It was it's so nice. But you couldn't do the entire thing because there were rocks and there was mud. And um, there were ways to avoid it. Like right here. Boom. You just zip off to the side, which is really cool. And not only here, there's like four or five of these little side trails that um, if the if it was just too wet and you don't want to ride your bike through that, there were really nice little side trails. And I'll show you a couple. Um, yesterday when I did it, I didn't realize that they, they cut it like that. But today when I did it at a, at a better speed, I was like, okay, that's the way they want you to go. Um, some motorcycles showed up too and they got on my rear end. They got on my rear wheel and I had to stop you. And I've got that in the footage here, which... It's all good. I, I mean, I was like, just this is the second time to do this. And I was going at a good speed to see what happens and checking some of the Strava stuff out as well. But um, I'm really psyched about this entire area. This is just like the ice, tip of the iceberg because there's all these trails that go off to the side, to the left and to the right. So this is super cool. And this is one of the uh, more single track kind of areas where it's, it's shifted to the main track and you're riding over here and uh, rocks and some tight turns and uh, trees and stuff like that. So it's just just straight up single track and it's super fun. Um, 
and I was giving it a good push today, which is kind of cool. I didn't crash where there's there were plenty of opportunities to crash, but I got lucky today and did not go over the bars or, or lose it and go into the green. Um, overall, it was a, just a super good ride today. Not super sunny, it was just a bit overcast, and it was maybe around 17 or 18 degrees. Um, not too hot, not too cold. And it's here, it's coming up. So I, I go around the curve, and there's this mud everywhere, and I lost it. I was like going straight into the mud, and I was like, nah, not going to happen. And that's when the motorcycle showed up, and they're right behind me. So I'm like, just get out, go ahead, just roll. And they do spit up mud everywhere. It didn't, I'm really lucky it didn't go all over me, but man, he really slinging mud, the one guy, because he rode right through the, the, the gunk right there. And uh, that was a that was a pretty cool uh, moment right there. Actually, I you know a lot of people get you know, no reason to get mad at the guys, but um, it was a good day. So here's the wolf again. That's six minutes of me talking. I hope you dig it, and I'm out of here. There you go.